President Tinubu needs to put his best foot forward to govern the country. If he does that, in four years, he can turn things around. But there are certain critical things he would need to do. The first thing is to say, what's the constitution? If, for instance, me and my wife Lillian don't agree in our marriage of 45 years, then we can't do anything. So the first thing that President Tinubu would need to do is to ensure that Nigerians all agree to be one country. You recall that uh, Bolaige asked those two questions. Do we want to be one? It's not by force. If we want to be one, how? We haven't answered those questions. Which is why I told President Babi of the Senate that it has taken 23 years to solve the problem of the Constitution. And I urged him in conjunction with President Tinubu to resolve the Nigerian constitutional question now by inviting the owners of Nigeria. The owners of Nigeria, mark you, were those who owned Nigeria before Lugard brought his amalgamation in 1914. Call them in. These are the people who own the country and ask them questions. What do you want to see of the constitution? Because without a constitution, we're going nowhere. And no one will doubt the fact that the constitution bequeathed by the military in 1999 is unsatisfactory. You can't build anything out of a weak foundation. The economic development policy of President Tinubu, the political uh, development policy of President Tinubu, and everything else he wants to do rests on a very solid foundation. So let him immediately resolve that. How can we spend 23 years looking for a foundation for building a house? Does that make sense to anybody? So that's my number one um, uh, uh, issue. We need to resolve this issue of do we want to be one? And mark you, the flip side of the question is that we mustn't be one because Yugoslavia, which was six countries under Marshal Tito, when he died, decided to break apart. And today, a lot of them are very strong countries, Macedonia, Croatia, Slovenia, Slovakia, they're all doing well. So there is no sacrosanctity about Nigeria being one country. There's none. I personally would wish for Nigeria to be one country, but we must agree. Now, that is the problem. Because we have not agreed, and because the National Assembly has appropriated to itself the all-knowing wisdom of giving us a constitution, that is the weakness. So that's the starting point. Dr. Agbakoba, I mean, sometimes when some of these issues are raised, I actually have problems with uh, the, the decision by activists like you to call for a total discarding of the 1999 constitution. Because some activists like you have also said in the past that this document was the product of the 1979 constitution. And in 1999, it was just a few amendments that were added to the 1999 Constitution. No, no, no. Don't put words into my mouth. I did not say that. I simply said we need a Constitution. I also said that there's a National Assembly. So I recognize the role of the National Assembly to give us a Constitution. What I'm criticizing is the length of time that the National Assembly is taking to reach a decision. 23 years is too long a time for the National Assembly to come to a conclusion. That's my point. I recognize the National Assembly by Section 4, Subsection 1 of the Constitution as a sovereign parliament and that that is the takeoff point. What I don't understand is why it is taking 23 years to give us a constitution. It's like a woman who is pregnant for 23 years. So my point is, let us quickly resolve. And I'm happy I had the chance to speak to both President Tinobu and President uh, Ababio about the need to quickly resolve this problem. Because that's the key. If we resolve the constitution and agree what we want to do, and that agreement may be we want to go to pieces.